Hello everyone, welcome to At Home Learning. I am recording this video from home. It is Wednesday evening and I finally have a little bit of quiet time to do this video for you. Um, it's been a really strange week, um, but I hope that you and your family are doing well. My family and myself, we're doing pretty well over here too, even though I may look a little frazzled here, but it's quite late at night. Um, I wanted to address a few things. Um, I realized that when I had sent out the survey, I wasn't sure what the response was going to be like from you, but uh, to those who did respond, thank you. It gives me an insight as to what's going on in your home life and uh, what kind of activities and assignments uh, I can give to you. Um, there were a few things I wanted to address. First of all, uh, senior stress and anxiety. If you find that um, you need a little more help than what is being given to you at home or um, what is being provided for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. We do have some resources, some people that we can hook you up with that uh, could possibly um, give you further help. And so um, if you are able to respond very specifically in the survey that I sent out, thank you. Um, it allows me to be able to point you in the right, right direction, okay? I may not be able to help you, but I may be able to re reach someone who can help you and address some of the concerns that you have. And so um, I'll try to send out a survey on a weekly basis just to check in on you and to make sure that you guys are doing okay. Um, one question I had was uh, to be very specific on assignments. All my assignments will be posted out there in Canvas. Um, I will probably start the week off with some kind of a presentation and then a prompt within that presentation for you to complete. Um, I'll also post it out there on assignments in Canvas too. There may or may not be a submission button on there just depending on what the project is, okay? Um, what else? So I have a list here I'm going off of. Uh, questions on what we're going to do. Uh, I teach a variety of courses. I teach senior art. I teach clay and ceramics as well as interdigerian sculpture. And because they are studio courses, I do want to make sure that we maintain the studio courses and that you're not just doing like a lot of writing, which I'm sure you're doing in most of your classes. And so plan for projects that will require more hands-on. And I'll try to include video clips and such like that to kind of help you out to guide you as best as I can so you can get those, those completed. I also want to be very mindful and realistic about what it is that I expect for you to complete. Um, but it, it, it is your responsibility to do your best to complete the assignments that are given to you. Um, for our assignments, we will be focusing on the essential standards, uh, what the main functions are, purposes, objectives are for our courses. Uh, some of them may overlap. So for those of you who have multiple courses with me, they may overlap and I apologize for that in advance. You would only have to submit at one time though, um, but we'll try to work with like the different medium that uh, each course requires. Uh, the other thing that I really wanna stress to you is that because I am not there really to help you in person, I don't want you to focus too much on the end product. I really want you to focus on uh, the process, okay? And I have stressed this before and I can't stress it enough. Um, art to me is not so much about the end product or how it looks when you're done, more so about the process and the creative problem solving that you go through to uh, make the piece, okay? So the projects that I assign you will be more focused on the creative thinking process, okay? So with that being said, um, we have our first assignment and ideally I'd like you to complete this within the first week of at home learning. So that means by Friday, um, March 20th, okay? Um, completed before the start of spring break. Um, what I need you to do is I need you to watch the video that is on the first slide on the art of complaining by the Gorilla Girls. Uh -huh. And then you need to think of something that you really want to complain about. And I'm sure that you have plenty to choose from these days, especially with current events on going on. I know I do. 
Um, decide on how you would like to communicate your message in a creative way. And then I need you to record yourself communicating your complaint. You can do it, the recording through uh, with the use of your cell phone. You can also do the recording with uh, the camera video cam that is on your Chromebook. And um, you can have some record you or you can just try to be really creative on how you can prop up your uh, video cam when you're doing it. But I need you to think of a way of how you can re creatively communicate your complaint and then record yourself complaining. And then you need to post your video on a social media of your choice. For example, an Instagram, a Facebook or a TikTok. Um, and I need you to send me the link to that video on Canvas, okay? If you're not able to send it to me on Canvas, you can email it to me. If you don't feel comfortable posting it up on social media, you can just simply send me the video file, okay? Just upload it to your computer and then just share it with me or send it to me and that will suffice, okay? Um, so with that being said, I will show my video clip. I hope you guys enjoy it and have a great break. Bye. This sucks to be doing online teaching. But you know, your education is very important. And uh, after all this is done, um, you still need your high school diploma. So it's really important that you uh, receive a quality education, even though it will be through online. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this rock. And, uh, okay, so we're gonna go throw this in the lake. There's kind of a lot of people around because it's somewhat warm day. Let me set you guys up over here. Hopefully, you can see me.